hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to give you a guide on how to download a collection into your pc and then later on you can add it to your steam deck if you want to this is just part one for beginners who don't know how to add mods collection to their pc firstly i'm gonna need you to go to witcher tree go to um, properties go to install file and verify integrity of your files this one ultimate mod list by Canals, however you want to say it okay so before we start downloading um you're gonna need to have the profiles on if you don't have any profiles uh, you can go to games and search for witcher tree and press manage after you do that you can go to your settings go to mods um, apply the suggest one is what i would say but uh, make sure it's in the same folder make sure your downloads folder is in the same as your game so for example i have it on j on my j disk and my game is also on my j disk so it's in the same folder uh, you can choose sim link or hard link that is your choice i don't have a hard link option so yeah you have to do this firstly uh, once you select your folder you want to download you can press apply and then you can go to vortex right and add your collection sometimes it doesn't start you can close vortex and open it again and you can add it and then let your mods download all of them let them download add collection continue <laughs> why is it turning on yeah there we go so impatient man <laughs> anyway now we've done it we're gonna yeah create new profile yeah install now Let's wait for it to download. And once it's downloaded, I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, now now that's done. Downloading. Now that you have finished downloading your mod. Hold on, give it a second for it to run. Press done. Now a merge folder should appear. First, I'm going to show you what you need to do. Then I'm also going to show you if you want to remove or add some other mods, which I will definitely. Import merges. Script merges imported successfully. Now you're good to go, right? No, you're not. Now that you have uh, imported the merges, I'm going to need you to press deploy mods. And once you deploy mods, every, let everything do, you're going to get some notifications here, but there's no need to worry about that. Okay, now that you have deployed, deployed the mods, I'm going to need you to download uh, these files, which uh, it's going to show. Let me go back. Right, let me go back for you guys. Let me open it in another. Um, open it in right, you're going to download all these six files merge inventory file bundle content priority file pre-merge ready settings and xml files all of these need to be downloaded but before we do this step right we're going to go to documents feature tree and we are going to download uh delete sorry we're going to delete the things that are marked here which is dx12 user settings back dx12 user setting vortex backup uh, you're going to need to delete uh, input settings vortex backup user settings uh, one second user settings vortex backup and if you also have user settings back please also uh, delete it and after you've done that go to your game file steam library steam apps common witcher 3 bin config 
R4 game user PC. Go to your PC and look for input XML vertex, which is this one. You're going to need to delete this one too. After you have deleted this one, you can go on, download these files from this list. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so now that you have downloaded them and extracted them all, just keep them in one folder for now. Merge inventory file. You're going to move this into merge inventory right for now i'm going to cancel this because i've already done them and then after merge inventory you're going to go merge bundle content everything is written here i'm just showing it in a video for people who are struggling to follow up merge bundle content also going inside the script merger we're going to move this right i'm not uh, going to do it because i have some extra mods and after you do this going to go back go back here to mod priority file and you're going to do that in your documents which are three your mod priority file move them into witcher into documents and then also ready settings also move them into your documents let's go back uh, sometimes there's issues with installation so you're going to have to go to mods look for Pre no, merged merged files and you're going to delete it right delete it and then once you delete it i want you to move this one the pre-merged scripts here which you downloaded earlier move this one into into the mods folder even if you don't have it you don't have to delete it just move it into your mods folder and then uh, lastly your xml files for this i've had issues when i copy and paste so what i want you to do is do this and then sorry go this extract files go to wherever you're downloaded your game mine is here but i'm going to show you how to you how to do that Go to storage, steam library, steam apps, common, witcher 3. When you go to witcher 3, look for bin, config, r4 game, user configuration, and PC. And then press OK, and it's going to ask you if you want to replace, and yes, replace them all. Damn, I'm sorry that this is a long ass video, like, mod collections are hard to do. It looks like we're good to go. Yep, it worked fine. I'm going to do multiple parts to this video because I think it's going to be too long. How about let's continue the game? Uh, you can't continue your game if you haven't played in these mods before. But you have to start a new game. But if you have played in these mods before, then you can just continue your game. I've played in this collection before, so I have to start a new game, so I'm around like level 13, 14 now. That's what I'm doing. We look like we're good to go one thing to check okay you can just do all your settings here you know 
and can just do them i'm not gonna do them now because i'm gonna turn off the video the recorder but for now we're good to go i'll just save game just in case right exit we're good to go thank you guys for watching and have a nice day if, you, if this video was helpful leave a like it helps thank you guys bye bye